Hello everyone, my name is SVP, talking on a King Bee, and today we are going to be doing a Pokemon Diamond Nuzlocke. I started this recording and then muted my mic. So we actually gotten all the way through the tutorial, at least up until uh, we've talked to Professor Rowan and we uh, have gone all the way to the town and we've caught our first Pokemon from the first route, which is Birch here. Birch the Bidoof. Now, I'm not 100% sure how we're gonna train it up because I'm, I can't remember how what the levels of the Pokemon are like around here. But for now, we have Birch the Bidoof and Tree the Turtwig. I'm gonna be naming all of the Pokemon after trees. Now, I have to tell you all of the things that I what did say in the first, first section that didn't get recorded. I didn't want to restart for something that stupid. It was 20 minutes in, you know? So I went, no, 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 we're not doing that. So here's the deal. I, uh, I want to play Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And I'm just going to skip through any dialogue of Dawn teaching us. Is she going to teach us? She is, good. I'm just going to skip through this and explain to you while, while we're doing this, all right? So I, uh, I want to play Diamond and Pearl again. I want to play Gen 4 again, and I'm, I'm just wanting to do a normal run. I don't want to do a run where I'm doing a like a randomizer because I don't know what comes up. I don't know the gyms. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, you know? Uh, it's been so long since I've played Diamond and Pearl. In fact, of the generations at the moment, the only ones I haven't played through in full recently... Well, not the only ones. The ones I haven't played through in full recently are Sun and Moon, like that gener generation seven, Generation 4 and Generation 5. I at least played, I think it was Pokemon Black in recent times, but I, I didn't finish it. I started a, a randomizer Nuzlocke in that on live stream and we got four and a half hours into it. Hell, it's on the channel if you want to see it, but we, we failed it. In the end, we failed it, but it was probably one of the most fun things I've ever had and ever done in chat uh, on stream. So like, well worth taking a look at. It's just one of those moments when you go, I just failed it dismally. So for me, I just want to play it through, but I didn't want it to be too easy, so I decided to do a Nuzlocke. My biggest problem is, I suck at Nuzlocke's. So question of the day, how do you think we'll go at this Nuzlocke? I'm currently one for four. In four Nuzlocke's, I have won one of them, so the odds are not in my favor, and uh, we're actually about to catch another Pokemon on this route. So let's do that. But man, I am just a little bit, um, <laughs> frustrated at myself about that one we get a starly okay starly and starly and bidoof so it's level two i reckon bidoof can handle it bidoof can handle it so that's the that's the uh the basics of what i'm aiming for with this nuzlocke is just to re-familiarize myself with generation four okay that was nowhere near enough damage screw that let's just put tree out there <laughs> uh let's let let tree do the job now I have decided already that I'm naming all of them after trees. I think I might have mentioned that right at the beginning. Uh, so I'm finding trees with the same letter as the Pokemon's name. And uh, hopefully they retain the same na or naming scheme. They usually do with like a... Well, they often do. I'll try and name it to the final evolution. Uh, so for Starly, I need to find a tree beginning with S. And I think... I think maybe spruce spruce is the first one that kind of comes to mind uh now let's not click away pokeballs ah good she gave us five pokeballs i will i bought balls at the mart to catch birch uh sour cherry tree is apparently one but i don't think that starly is sour shag bark you know what Purely because of the name. I'm calling it Shagbark. It's a type of tree. So we're calling her Shagbark. <laughs> I'm not a child. Oh, uh, Shagbark. Uh, where's the G? Shagbark. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be funny. Alrighty, so now we have three Pokemon in the party. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna start with this star shag bark more than I am tree, uh, Bidoof, our Birch Bidoof. 
Unlike a lot of people. Oh, a Shinx. I like Shinx. I could, I would have taken Shinx. Also, it would be so funny having a Lux... Oh, wait. It becomes Lux Ray, so I wouldn't have called it Shag Park. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no fighting. Pokemon, and let's go for Tree. So yeah, so that's my reasoning. I haven't played this generation in so long. Uh, and so so I'm, I'm wanting to re-familiarize myself with the wor this world, how it plays, what you know, what we do in the gen, the storyline and the badges and the gyms, so that when Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl come out and I'm doing a run through of those for you guys, we can, you know, just roll with the punches kind of thing. Because I'm planning on, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do the download, the uploads and everything, but I'm planning on streaming it. As soon as it comes out, I will prepare however I have to, and I'll be... I'm, I'm, with the only exception being if I have an important class, by which I mean like, because it's sh we shouldn't we shouldn't be that far into the semester by then, but uh, I, I've got a couple of classes in the tr at the second tri uh, third trimester this year, so barring that, I I will be streaming Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and or Shining Pearl, well or Shining Pearl. Uh, straight away the day of like the moment it's released and it's downloaded done starting the stream we'll be doing it kind of thing hell i might start the stream before we begin just so that you know before it's downloaded just so we're starting and it's just a case of launch straight into it and i'm not sure how i'm intending to process it yet um the original oh right i forgot i wasn't supposed to stick with you in front Switched while I'm talking is not the best time to explain, but I, I basically I'm planning on streaming it. Just know that, and then I'm planning on attempting to anyway uh, release the videos as we're going on YouTube, uh, so you can catch it on YouTube and just get the the vods of it pretty much straight away. Up to you, however you want to watch it, and we'll sort of see how it goes when the time comes. For now, that's that's a plan for the future, and to be honest, not really important for what we're talking about. Uh, I don't like that. We haven't done anywhere near as much damage as I would have liked. Do I have a potion yet? Nope. Alright, we are going to buy some potions. Sorry, Cricketot. I'm, I'm, I'm not having that happen. Alright, let's, uh... Let's get back. Anyway, I was a bit annoyed that... Because I, I did... I reckon I did a pretty good job of uh, narrating and explaining myself in the first 20 minutes. Oh, I wasn't far enough up. Uh, about what was going on, and I just don't think I explained it. I explained it much quicker, but I don't know if I explained it as acutely, as uh, effectively right now. But that's okay. We will do what, uh, you know, I think you guys understand. I just want to play a normal playthrough of Pokemon Diamond to understand the story again. And I think it's going to be a bit of fun. Uh, let's definitely buy potions. I did it again. I can't press the plus buttons. So I, I did explain, but I will explain again for, uh, uh, wait, no, I want to buy three and one Paralyze Heal, because we always need Antidotes, but sometimes we need a Paralyze Heal. That's because I bought five Pokeballs already and started the challenge just a little early. I, uh, I originally was, I, I kind of messed up and went straight down to, I went to see Mum. Uh, so I'm going to do... Should I grind a little? I might grind a little. Nothing major, just like two level two Pokemon and a level six don't really go well. I didn't run into any Pokemon on the way to the lab. So I didn't have a chance to even try to, to raise up the Pokemon. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get Tree up to level seven and maybe the other guy the like the Shagbark and Birch up to level four. That's a good aim, right? Uh, and maybe level, uh, you know, wh wherever we end up on tree. Maybe that's how we do it. Shagbark and Birch get to level four. Tree gets up to whatever level he gets to. And then we'll continue our journey. But I'm really excited. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing Brilliant Diamond, Shining and Pearl in the future. Like this is, and there's a reason I'm doing this playthrough now as well. Because I was planning on doing one uh, in Generation 4. But... I kind of can't be, uh, I can't, uh, well, I kind of, sorry, not can't. I kind of end up, I'm going to have to sort of bring this one forward. There's a whole host of things that's going on behind the scenes in the videos I'm making right now. 
and I'm going through a Pokemon challenge through each of the generations. And it's a fun challenge, but I can't afford to spoil Generation 4 for myself on my own with the way that it's going. Like, it's easy, it's, it's easy to say stuff like, oh, I'm going to play this game and do this challenge. I don't know how this game goes. And I don't want to not re-experience it off screen I guess given that I planned on playing it through and I didn't want to be I don't know I, I'm not explaining it as well as I did like this is exactly what I was saying I'm not explaining it anywhere near as concisely as I did in the previous uh section which is why I'm so annoyed that I muted my microphone uh I'm constantly checking it in case you're wondering because now I'm a little annoyed because that's the second time tree has been hit hard enough by a Cricketot of all things to uh, be put down into the into the red and I can't let them faint so you know I'm glad I was able to run away now that I think about it yeah I might have lost our starter this early if I was not careful uh, I didn't even really think of that damn alright well now that I have officially uh, freaked myself out uh, we will continue playing. So yeah, so like I, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to play, play, play the generation for the first time in ages for this challenge, and it's a weird challenge with what I have to do because I don't think I, I haven't released it actually. No, I won't probably have released the challenge at this point in time, so you're gonna have to forgive me because I, I'm gonna keep it a secret what it is. But I just finished Generations 1, 2, and 3 in this challenge, and I'm doing Generation 4. And these are going to be non-playthrough videos. So, as in, they're going to be videos not like this. They're going to be made in the style of challenge videos. Think J Rose 11, think Madry Bread, guys like that. Uh, and, I, you know, there's plenty of people that do Pokemon challenges. This is my, not unique spin, but this is my spin on it. And I'm really looking forward to it uh, because it's going to be super fun. I've really planned it out well and really gone along with it. And now we're going to be doing Gen 4 because of how weird it is. Because of how weird the challenge is, I can't really play the game normally for the first time that way. And it's not so weird as in like, I don't know, like a, it's not like I'm playing through the game with only potions or something, as in without using Pokemon Centers. I've seen that challenge before. It's actually quite impressive. Man, I don't know that we can beat the Starly. <laughs> How can we not be able to beat a Starly? I'm really unfamiliar with, with how this gen goes, hey. I think we were definitely supposed to run into one or two Pokemon on the way to the uh, to and from the, um, the lab. Yay, we got Shagbark to level 3. <laughs> and Tree is at level 7. Oh, I do not miss. So, two playthroughs have been recorded so far. And this one's a, got, probably going to be released before Pokemon Shield now. Uh, yes. Probably. Because this has to run through at the same time as some other stuff. So I can't afford to not run this first. Uh, assuming that I can get everything edited and solved and sorted in the next couple of weeks. Which I'm really looking forward to doing. I've got another surprise for you guys. Like you guys will be able to access this by then. So this one's coming out. I'll be putting out and you'll be seeing Pokemon Mini Masters Tournament. It's going to be a tournament of all baby Pokemon. And I'm super excited for it. Like, it's not, not, um, like, I got inspired by watching another YouTuber, Ace Trainer Liam, who did Metromania. Um, always 100% recommend Ace Trainer Liam as a, uh, you know, especially if you like British people. Uh, fantastic YouTuber, fantastic streamer. I watch a lot of his stuff. And I got inspired by Metromania to do a tournament style Pokemon thing. But I did it, I'm choosing to do it with baby Pokemon. And I'm choosing to do it not as, uh, not as metronome, but as essentially 
semi-competitive. So same concepts, full IVs, no EVs, and then, you know, the Pokemon get access to their moves, and a, a, a few other rules that I've put in place regarding it. Uh, so it, it's going to be fun, but it's also like fairly work intensive. So between the Pokemon challenges and between all of the work that has to, the editing that has to be done for that, I need I needed to take up the full amount of time that the Pokemon X randomizer Nuzlocke took up. And this, uh, Pokemon Shields was going to be next, but I can't. Unfortunately, I just can't. Timing-wise, it doesn't work out. And on top of that, I've started streaming again uh, as of recording time, but you guys probably will will see the, the VOD, for, the not VOD, the edited, um, the edited down version. Uh, I'll be, I've been, I did a level 100 Grookey challenge also in Pokemon Shield. So taking Grookey from zero to a hundred before you enter Motostoke for the first time. Uh, I'm super stoked about that one. Like that one's, as of, again, as of recording, we're in the middle of, we finished it. We did it. It was done inefficiently. <laughs> we look at that video too, if you haven't. I actually like that one. I'm really proud of that. Getting Gr Grookey to level 100. It took 10 hours. I'm pretty positive. We can do it faster if need be. Um, I am most certainly switching. And I cannot afford to let that happen. My mic was off for a bit. I'm annoyed. I don't know how long it was off for. I'm not resetting this time because I notice it quickly. But I apologize to all of you who have to experience that bit of noise, a uh, bit of noiseless moments at around this time. And I've actually made a note in my notes at 17 minutes my mic went off so I'll put some sort of overlay that says hey Steve muted his mic again like a moron uh the setup my setup isn't quite ready yet because I'm still living uh in my home which sounds weird but like I've been trying to sell my home for two and a half months now and that's because we in Victoria, Australia, Victoria, Australia are in lockdown again. And are still in lockdown. And to put perspective, I don't know if I've mentioned the date yet. It's mid-September. While the rest of the world is starting to open up. Or a lot of the world. Maybe not the rest of the world. But a lot of the world. I wasn't supposed to leave you in, was I? Thankfully. Thankfully, you're fine. We'll get tree out and we'll be fine. So we've been in lockdown for two and a half months and basically it was like basically when I started trying to sell the house we went into lockdown and it hasn't been sold. No one can afford things like I can barely afford things. The only reason I'm not struggling is because of the government um, support system, the support um, payments that have been coming out. And quite bluntly, I wish I didn't need it. I really do. It'd be so much better if I didn't need the support system. Anyway, this is life and this is where I'm at. At least I can pay my mortgage, pay my bills and still live here. Finish off the, like the, the subjects that I'm doing at the moment are all uh, like the last of my practicals that I have to do uh, was this semester. And as it turns out, we've been in lockdown for four out of five of them. So doesn't really matter but at the same time I do have to plan for the idea that like I had to plan for the idea that I was going to travel from from the other side of town like a good 120 k kilometers away uh, I don't know the conversion to miles per hour to miles but just a long way away we're talking two odd hours of driving uh, yeah, about look, 45 and, and 100 feet, probably longer than 200, 200, uh, 120 kilometers. It was probably closer to 140. So like this has kind of worked out for me. 
Uh, I'm actually going to a center myself just to heal up and we'll put uh, Birch out the front and let Birch try to get a couple of levels on on him as well now that's now that uh, Shag barks at level five and that's perfect so what we've yeah so so what I'm getting at is like I'm still living at home and the original plan for a lot of this stuff was that when I moved out of home I wouldn't need to work when I moved when I sold my house and things were sorted I'd have all the set uh, set up stuff and I'd have all of the all of this stuff sorted I don't currently have that set up so when I need to do things like clear my throat or whatever because of the like I had uh, earlier in the year I had surgery in my, on the interior of my nose and for a long time including when I started recording it just would gunk up like crazy so you know I would mute the mic as best I could turn everything down clear myself out and keep keep going uh, to avoid you know embarrassing moments on stream and embarrassing moments in and I shouldn't have kept you in should I thankfully you didn't die and I get to switch switch you anyway the point is I muted myself to just have a drink of water just then and I didn't unmute myself the system that I'm, the, the thing that I'm trying to buy and the thing that I'm trying to sort out will have a physical mute button <laughs> that I can press mute and press unmute. And I, it will be so much easier to manage. So that's what I'm uh, currently looking forward to. Anyway, that's the long winded explanation of why I uh, accidentally muted myself and you guys had to deal with it. Very sorry about that. And I'm still going with this particular section of it. So let's try and get through here pretty quickly. I'm not going to grind any further. The the, um, the trainers were actually good enough. I didn't know how much they were going to give us in terms of experience and or uh, like how that all was going to work. So we'll... Uh, yeah, fair enough. And the other thing is, it's actually late at night. Uh, I don't know that you'd believe me. It's quarter to 12. Um... I mean, you guys have probably watched some videos of mine from uh, from that period of time. Anyway, I've done a few of them. Uh, I'm a night owl. Always, always will be. Uh, I really enjoy doing stuff at night. Uh, and that just is the way it is. That's probably going to work really well when I move back, uh, back to mum and dad's place for the temporary time being. Uh, and I won't have any expenses and I won't have any issues. And it's, it's just required. COVID completely ruined my... I work in the entertainment industry normally, completely ruined my work. And every time we went, went, Victoria went back into lockdown, I basically lost work. At this point, in terms of gigs that I had booked and were gonna do, basically from the end of June, I have, because of all the lockdowns, in terms of booked events, at this point, we're getting close to $15,000 that I didn't earn, Australian dollars. And that's painful. That would have been more than enough to cover me over this last few months. And it would have been, you know, possible not to keep my house, but to stay afloat. Whereas instead I've struggled because when the event industry got canned, I didn't just lose the jobs that I was booked for. I lost the jobs that I never got to see. So I'm in a bit of a bind, and at least, like I said, there's the government support packages, and I'm doing okay in that regard. So yeah, it's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Anyway, I say all of that to say, when I sell the house, and eventually work kind of comes back, maybe I'll get a little on the side, but I'll also do a lot of stuff for you guys, which should be fun. Hi, King B, are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. I have three. In Jubilife, there's a trainer's school, which, you know, go visit it, get some tips. And Dane went there earlier, bye. Is there a hidden item here? This is one of my pet uh, exploration-y things. Ah, it's on the wall. Alrighty. Let's go and heal is the center. There's the school. Let's go heal at the center. I don't think we're going to battle anyone at the moment. Have we actually? No, we haven't. We haven't battled our rival yet, have we? Um... That'll happen soon. Anyway, so those are the basic updates as of middle of September. Whenever you see them, I'm not sure. Probably start of October? 
is gonna be my guess. Hmm. I'm gonna call my mum. It's her birthday. Um, <laughs> let's go talk to... Okay, I don't remember if anyone gives you stuff in here, so I will talk to everyone. I came to study, remembered everything on the blackboard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the, um, the, 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 the status conditions. I don't need to know that. What's this? Score, town map. Here, you take one. Thank you. I actually might need this. I don't know the, uh, I don't know the layout of this region. So, before I move on, and before I talk to those, we are going to go and have a quick look at the town map. What? Aha! So, Canalave's to the left, but Oroberg was where we're going now. So, we're going to our the, the Route 203, which will mean another encounter for us. Anyway, that's the updates. Sorry. That's the updates. I'm stopping there. I won't tell you much more about my life. I will certainly talk about it, no doubt, through the playthrough. Uh, so... Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Are you guys doing stuff, or are you just talking? Yeah, I, I know. Okay. Are you... Oh, we battle. Okay, great. I get to battle. Cool, we get some experience. Yeah, so what I was... So, so I won't talk too much more about... I won't talk about that now. That's just a bit of an update on what's going on and why there's little random things going on. Like, you know, I, I was hoping to have everything set up really well now. And it just hasn't happened that way. Oh, I shouldn't have tackled with uh, a level three. Are you going to survive? You did, and I lucked out. I lucked out on that one. Thankfully, Abra's defenses are weak, so you will get some damage. But Tree is the one, and hopefully Abra's hidden power isn't one that's super effective against Grass. I, I, I would imagine that the game developers actually set this hidden power to be not strong against all three of your Pokemon, all three of the starters, but you never know. Um, just a guess, but I don't know. Geez, that animation is long. I like it, it's pretty, but it's a long animation. And I'm going to have to heal up Tree after this battle because it's uh, taking a lot of damage. He's taking a lot. And Abra goes first. I'm actually, actually, I'm going to have to heal it up now, aren't I? Can I knock it out? Oh, I knocked it out. That's fine. I'll just heal it up before facing the next opponent. All right, then. And Birch is level four. And Tree will almost get to level nine. That's good. You thought you could win? Yeah, look. Kid, you're not bad. You almost took me down. Uh, you might have done better if you used potions, but I would have considered you uh, an annoying, annoying character. Uh, uh, wrong Pokemon. Whatever. Let's heal up tree. I don't know when we face our rival, so the stupid part about that is I'm going to the Pokemon Center. Yes, you may battle with me. This is just a good way to get a little bit of experience, considering I'm starting with... Two level two Pokemon in our Nuzlocke. Now, probably a couple of things that I'm going to go over. Obviously, a Nuzlocke is a Nuzlocke. I am not going to institute a duplicates clause, by which I mean, um, if I find only Bidoof, I will catch only Bidoof. I hope I don't. Uh, if you've never seen the Emerald Nuzlocke, well. Unlike the other videos, I don't necessarily recommend it. But I don't dislike it. Um, I like it, but it was the first Nuzlocke I ever did. And I didn't institute a Jeep's Clause in that either. In the first five routes, or in the first section before you hit Juford, I only managed to catch... I caught three Poochiana, two Wurmple, and I accidentally knocked out the Wisma. So I didn't have a lot of variance in my team when I started that run. And I was really frustrated at that. Like, you've got no idea how little, like, how little variance. And Poochiana are not that great. Uh, and Wurmple are not that great. So I managed. I started with Mudkip, so it was okay. But geez, 
That was not an easy challenge in the end. And I didn't win it. That was one of the Nuzlocke's I didn't win. But I'll tell you what, it was a good experience. And jeez, that crit was good, wasn't it? We're going to need more potions. I know you need a lot of Pokeballs, but you need more potions. You learn Growl, fantastic. Let's, uh, let's go get a fourth Pokemon. I don't know how well I'm going to... Yes, oh, Absorb, fantastic. I'm pretty sure Tree is, uh, like, Turtwig's a, a physical attacker, but I'll have a look. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, give me a ticket. Ah, you gave me Hidden Power. That makes sense. We get Hidden Power from fighting two tiny kids. Uh, that might be useful. Uh, especially getting it so early. No, not bag. I wanted to look at the Pokemon real quick. Because I haven't looked at them yet. And, and what they are, and what they do, and what their abilities are. Uh, I'm simple... Prone to wild stat... What? I don't know what that means, but I'll look it up later. Keen eye, prevents losing accuracy. That's not terrible. Um, and overgrow. Yeah, they're not terrible. Rash, serious, docile. Serious is no stat changes. Um, that's fine. Let's go with it. So let's heal up. And if I go to the mart again, I'll buy as many potions as I can. Just to try to stay alive. And then we'll keep going, I reckon. And then we'll keep going, I reckon. We'll catch this next Pokemon. Thanks for going. Let's move. And our... Oh, we get interrupted. Okay, what are you telling us? Oh, 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 you call yourself a trainer and you have no Poketech. That is Pokemon, Pokemon Watch or Pokech. Whatever. <laughs> oh my, you're a rare case. I invented and now manufacture it. And here, look, look, I've been from a tiny village. Like, thanks. All three clowns. Oh, you've got to find the clowns. Uh, collect a coupon from each clown. So they were around the city? I guess we do this really quickly. Hello, buddy. I'm a campaign clown. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Yes. Some items become effective, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Where are the rest of the... Where are the rest of these clowns? I've never heard of them. I don't remember this at all. I don't remember the watch. It has, oh wait, actually I do, because it has a... Uh, I was about to say, does the Pokemon grow? Yes, it does by getting the XP points. Thank you, you're teaching me all about trainering. Where is the second clown? Is it further down? Excuse me, is it further down? Is it to the left or is it up here? Hello, Poketch poke Clown. I'm a campaign clown. Ding dong, matches the blah, blah, blah. Thank you. I just remember that there's a, 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 a steps counter on it. Ooh, what's up with the emulator? Okay, that's not the first time I've had that happen with an emulator. I've had it happen with Citra as well. And... This is... Uh, DSM... Uh, DSMUME. DSMUME. I think they... I don't know what it's officially called, but DSMUME. Uh, and... Yeah, I had it happen with that. But never with this. I can buy one more potion, alright. We will buy more potions later. Uh, Alright, let's go and catch the first Pokemon on Route 203, shall we? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, our rival. Okay, I think we're having a rival battle. Tell me you got a little tougher. Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Alright, Dane, what do you got for me? Now, for those who are wondering, because I named the rival Dane, because uh, Dane, I, I, like, in the games that I've played so far, you don't name your rivals. Jeez, uh, level seven. This could be bad for me. Hmm. Anyway, in yeah, in the in the game, so in Pokemon X and Pokemon Shield, you don't name your rivals. You don't name your friends. So I haven't been considering names for my rivals for a long time. When I started doing the Pokemon challenge that you guys will see eventually, I. Uh, 
I took a quick look at, at who it would be best to name, and the, because the first one I did was Generation 1, I went, well, the, the rival must be Dane, of course. Then in Generation 2, I couldn't think of another one, so it was Dane, of course. Uh, Dane, who is a great friend of mine. <laughs> but Dane is my rival, and now he will officially be my rival in all playthroughs. And nothing will change. Nothing will change that. Hey, we got a crit. That's good. We got to ignore the stat changes and take a critical hit. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to swap out again, but it would be really nice to not be weak to both of his Pokemon, I must admit. I could have done a withdraw at some point, but I think we'll win. Uh, maybe not. I hate crits so much. I don't want to do a sacrificial... I don't like Leer either, jeez. I don't want to do a sacrificial switch, but... Maybe Starly has to come out. Or be doing one of the two. Birch or Birch or Shag. You know that's why I named it Shag. Shagwood or whatever it's called. Shagbuck. It hasn't hit me, but that means it's used Leer twice. So let's go, Birch! <laughs> I am not doing that again. Oh, I'm a little scared. Alright. You gonna beat me? I think you are. Leer is not the best. I will use Tackle. What I'll do, though, I reckon, after it's taken a hit... Yeah, that was stronger than I was hoping. But I got one bit of damage off, and even though my... Turtwig is a little weak right now, it won't have been leered, and it won't have been growled, so I should be able to defeat his Chimchar a lot better. Uh, let's do it. Let us do it. I think I'm pretty... I think I'm pretty sorted. Uh, but I just don't want to kill them. <laughs> I'm so nervous about killing them. Oh, fuck. Was that... Was that, that wasn't even a crit! Ah, oh, thank... At least I got potions. Like, he did more... He did the same amount of damage with a crit! This, this doesn't make any sense! Uh, okay, it's fine. Tree, when you knock it out... That's so much damage. It's not like it leered me this time. It did so much damage. Uh, it's, I can risk a crit, but I shouldn't risk a crit. Doing it. It's going to go badly. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I risked a crit and it paid off. It's not often that happens. But this time it did. Okay. That's good. Birch is level 6. Um, and tree level 10? Please? Almost. Ah, well. Alright, well, what we're going to do... We're going to go... Yeah, that's fine. You 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 can be you can tell yourself that all you want. I'm I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal up, and then we're gonna catch a Pokemon. And the other thing I'm gonna do, which is pretty important. Oh, I don't know need a calculator. Come on. Really? Um, how do you reset that then? I'm actually disliking that. So now it's set to the calculator and I can't change it. <laughs> Literally, uh, I can't change it. I thought when you press the button again it would cycle. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, it's because I was in a menu. <laughs> Alright, that, that explains it a bit more. Let's have a find of the first Pokemon in this route. Who is it? What are we getting? A second Starly! <laughs> This is going to go well. So. Let's just tackle it a couple times. Uh, okay. Well, we got to come up with another name. We've already done Shagbark, so. I mean, no, no, that would be rude. Uh, I reckon we go with Spruce. His name is Spruce. <laughs> Oop, no, no bag and pokeballs we get spruce the starly <laughs> i think we'll ultimately only go with one of them and since shagbark was already in the party 
Shagbark's gonna stay. But we've got Spruce. And that's gonna be the most Aussie thing I have on the team at some point. I, first, assuming assuming Star Ravia doesn't die, Spruce will won't come in for a while. But Spruce is gonna come eventually. Alright. Well, with that done, I think this is a perfect time to finish for the day. So Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like. Uh, don't forget to comment and answer the question of the day. And subscribe if you're new and ring the bell for more notifications. With all of that said, my name is SVP, talking on a King B. And I'm buzzing off. Catch you next time.